Hello Tron Enthusiasts, my name is James and Nez is back and Nez is ready to get some yo-yos So we are missing two that we need for the pre-hard mode There is the code one which we can get from a traveling merchant because we've defeated the Eye of Cthulhu and that's gonna go here And then we have another one which drops from the um, it drops from some of the underworld enemies now that we've defeated Skeletron So today's episode we are gonna be on the quest to find that we're gonna be on the quest to find this new yo-yo which is going to be in the underworld and then hopefully uh, hopefully we'll be able to get um, the other one from a traveling merchant if it pops by so hopefully it does because if not it's another grindy episode so we're going to come down here this is our little like system that we've already got in place now let's turn on our mini map and let's just take a quick look I know it's a little bit dark let's take a quick look at where we need to go so we're going to probably need to go down this route here if we're going to do anything. Now, I've not brought any torches with me. Uh, so we're going to craft some real quick. Okay, and let's put them... Let's sort our inventory a little bit. Let's do this. Um, don't really need the umbrella anymore. Eh, uh, that will do. I tried to organize the chest back at home as well, just a little bit. And that's worked out pretty well. So, we're going to come down here. Let's run down. Like I said, we're just going to be going to the underworld today, so I thought I'd show that. I didn't want to do um, a hypercut episode where we just um, I do everything on my own. I, I, you know, I don't really like doing them for this uh, for these kind of play uh, playthroughs because uh, the episode would be so short and very boring to watch. It would be like, "Hello, my name is James," and that would cut into me getting a weapon, and then there would be no excitement. You can't share that long. There'd be no playthrough. There'd just be items. So we're gonna not do that. Okay, which way was the best way? Down here, probably. Ooh, we got a... <laughs> Ness was slain. So must have had a lot of money on us at that point. Okay, so let's clear out this area here. And it seems like we already have... Ooh, let's get rid of all this. It seems like we already have some obsidian stuff going on. We've got another suspicious looking eye, which is good. I guess we can dig that. We'll loot all this anyway. Um, but I'll take the boomerang because we can always sell it and I'll also take this chest Now another thing that we have to do is we actually have to get some obsidian because uh, We're gonna be actually crafting uh, molten armor aren't we? So if we don't have any obsidian then we're not gonna be able to craft it and Crafting it's probably the best way because it's it's a melee It's a melee bonus isn't it and we're gonna be using yo-yo so it just makes sense so what we'll do is we'll, we'll work on getting that crafted. That's something that we really need to work on before we even try and defeat the Wall of Flesh. Do we also have a counter die yet? No, we don't even have the counter die, which is uh, which is really, really frustrating. Still never had that counter die. But if we see a skeleton merchant, I'm sure we'll be able to get one. And that should be good. All right, so let's put down some glow sticks. All right. Okay. And we'll start grabbing all the obsidian that we can grab. I can't remember exactly how many pieces that we need. I remember doing this on my uh, Let's Play the other day. And um, we seem to just... It, I think I just mined for like quite a, like a, like a, a normal amount of time that you would spend mining. And I think I managed to get it. So it shouldn't be too much. And I guess it always gives us enough accessory to craft. Because obviously we can craft the Obsidian Skull. And then when I go back to the dungeon and get the Obsidian Shield, both of them can work together. Which would be pretty good. Which I am planning to do, because I did realise afterwards that I did get a golden key. And uh, a lot of people were uh, upset that I didn't see it. It's because I always play in the sunshine and I get the screen glare, so... Reading the text is pretty hard, usually. But that's just my own problems. Okay, let's grab all this. Alright. So how many pieces do we have? We have... 120. Let's go for 200. I feel like that will definitely... Oh, let's not go for 200. Oh, we're completely running out. Let's see how much this will get us in the future. Because I feel like the crafting recipe for molten bars has decreased anyway. Alright, okay, let's get out you out. Let's start tackling, tackling some people. God, I can... Oh, I can never imagine how this is going to play out on console edition, these yo-yos. I'm pretty sure I've already said that, but damn. <laughs> Alright, so let's hope that Lady Luck is on our side today, because last episode we were really, really lucky with these giant chilies. We managed to get a uh, we managed to get a yo-yo really snappy. So hopefully we can do that again today. Get a yo-yo really, really snappy. Get a traveling mode and get it all done today. That'd be really good. Because then it's straight into hard mode. And in a, quite, a pretty rapid succession, actually. We 
Oh, I, I was not expecting to actually get hit then. I'm going to heal up for that one. Oh, we got that burn on us. Okay, so what is that? Slime is falling from the sky. Have we... Right, okay, considering... Have we already defeated it? I can't actually remember. Hmm, I think I'm just going to stay underground for now. I don't think the uh, slime mount is going to do us any good anyway. I think you're, you're almost pretty much guaranteed a slime mount every time you do one of them. And I know if you've never defeated this slime event before, that once you've defeated like one third of it, if you've done it, no, if you've done it, if you've never done it before, I think it's like a hundred slimes, and if you have done it before, I think it's only like 30 that you have to destroy before you get like a, a slime king. Or a king slime. The mini boss anyway. Alright, so let's have a look. Uh, we may as well take that life crystal now. I know that one of the things that we're probably going to have to get before we go into hard mode is actually some life crystals, so I think that's going to take up a considerable amount of an episode one day, but we can work on that as it comes. Let's just mine down. Alright, we should almost be in hell. Yeah, I can see the backdrop changing. Apparently there are ten enemies nearby. Oh, very interesting. Come down. Ooh, lots of enemies. Whoa. Let's be careful. I can't actually see. It's too dark. Got that screen glare going on. Okay. So let's come down here. Oh, God. Some black slimes. I can't actually see them. There we go. There's one there, isn't there? Yeah, I genuinely just can't see them on my screen. Come down here, and then hopefully uh, it won't take much more mining because I feel like we're getting to the ash level now. I think I can see it. And no, I don't mean ash from Pokemon. Although that would be amazing. Just, just, just a whole level made of ash ketchup. Okay, so we're going to take out this, and then let's go across to here. I think I may start working on a elevator now because the thing is, a elevator. A um, I don't know what you call it? Just a, just a walking line, basically, just a walking line for the um, for the wall of flesh. I might work on it now because then it gives us a little area to actually um, start defeating some of these enemies. Okay. Right, let's grab some potions. Got hellfire there. Ooh, and we also got um, we've also got one of these demon chests. We don't actually have the stuff, so I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff. Alright, let's get rid of that. Uh, we'll keep the boot statue. I don't know, actually. I'm not going to keep it because I don't really like decorating these worlds. Alright, so like I said, there is a very slim chance that it can drop. I'm not sure exactly how much the chance is, but I have actually got one um, in a multiplayer map. I got one and then a friend got one, so... They can't be too rare. I remember the time that I got it, I was actually just, um, we were just building our little, um, little walking path as well, so. I think just building this and just talking should be, should be a pretty good way to, um, to actually just farm for it. And we'll see what we get. I don't think there's any kind of automated system that we could do, because we can't use minions or anything like that, so. I think it's just going to be a, just like some, like, down to the earth grinding. Okay, so we'll take out these two... Alright, nothing there. And how many blocks have we got? We've got some stone. We can also use some stone, so... We'll use some... St Whoa! Gotta be very careful when you're doing stuff like that. Tell you what, I'm gonna take this out of my inventory. Where's that stone gone? I'm gonna put it right next to here, so... We can just swap over when we need it. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna continue onwards. <laughs> I love it when they ride along like that. That's pretty funny. Shows you that it's working very, very well. Alright, come on, buddy. Oh, no. I don't think he's going to get high enough now. Now he's at that first wave. I don't feel like he's going to try and do anything else. Ooh, what was that? Magma stone? It's not bad. Inflicts, um... Ooh, inflicts fire on people. Um, that may work well with a yo-yo. Well, it may work well with this yo-yo, considering the one that we're going to have next... Um, what's this? Band of star power, but it gives 4% damage. But this flicks fire damage. And I think fire damage is going to do us a little bit more. Plus free melee speed. 
And is that improving length? Alright, so let's try this out, alright? So we can stand here. Alright, so let's... Alright, so the furthest we can go is there. Alright, let's swap it over. Oh, no, I didn't swap over the right accessory. Alright, we need to we need to clear things out for this. So we're going to put the magma stone, we're swapping over with this guy. Here. Alright. One second. <laughs> I just had to press a, a button on my monitor to stop it going into power mode. Alright, so let's take out all these people. And we're going to do a little bit of a yo-yo test here for anybody who's not done it yet. So, where was the furthest we could get? The furthest we could get is there. Right, standing here. And that's with out the thingy. So we're going to put it on and... Does it get any further? No. So, melee speed does not affect it. Uh, and I got lots of comments about that saying that it does. Or maybe this test isn't accurate, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, but from what I've seen, it's not. So, let's not worry about that in the future. God, there's a dog barking outside and everything. Alright, so we'll keep building. Um, we'll keep building and see what happens. We're just really waiting on two time events. We're waiting on one for the yo-yo and two for the traveling merchant. So, it's just one of them waiting games, really. Hmm. So I may do a hypercut now. I'm going to grind for a little bit and see what I can find. And then if I do find anything, I'll cut back in. Okay, so I found for half an hour, and I didn't actually mind to f like I didn't actually manage to find anything sadly, but um, I realized that we're gonna have to grab some potions to even go um, basically like hell spunking. So I thought I would dedicate a little bit of time to actually going and getting that stuff, and that's only because I'm a little bit burnt out. Half an hour of grinding and farming, and I had a battle potion because I found one in one of the hell chests, not the hell chest, but in one of the hell pots. Um, but yeah, I still couldn't find it. But that's what random number generators are, aren't they? The, it's all about, you know, how lucky you are on the day, you know, does the numbers go in your favour, blah blah blah. Um, gotta sound like an episode of Lost. <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, so I keep saying but. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of break from farming just to ease my weary mind and go and get some water leaf. And we're going to get water leaf from the ocean and we're going to combine our water leaf, fire blossom and obsidian that we mined earlier to actually get some obsidian skin potions. Now, ooh, what these are good for is they are great for just mining down into the earth, getting all the hellstone we need, because like I said, we are gonna need that molten set if we're ever gonna actually do this thing, um, because the armor that we have now just won't be good enough. Um, or at least I don't think it will. Uh, I'm not too sure. So, we also need to wait for a traveling merchant. Now, the reason why I haven't got a traveling merchant um, while I was farming for half an hour, like the reason why one didn't show up, is because there was that slime event on, uh, but it's not on anymore, thankfully. Um, so that was on, and obviously it won't spawn during that, I don't believe. Um, or at least that's the best of my knowledge. So it just doesn't work out like that, but that's, all, that's okay. It's all good. All right, so we're gonna come over here. And hopefully, oh, I think that's one. Yep, there we go. Water leaf. We'll just bin all the shuriken mushrooms. Don't need that. Uh, do we need the movement speed? I'll put it on here just in case. Um, ooh, I think I can leave the rest of that. Oh, there's another water leaf there. All right, now this magma stone is doing some good stuff as well. I've noticed that. All right, let's see if we can get any more water leaf just while we're on the bottom here. Got a squid there. Uh, ooh. Okay, we're going to find a chest. Loot all. I'll take them flippers, baby. Right, carry on, carry on. Ooh, any more wall leaf? Any more chests? Oh, one more chest. All right, okay. All right, so let's head back home. Now let's sell some stuff. So shop. Let's sell you. Uh, we'll keep some flippers on us, even though. Oh, we do have water walking boots. I don't know why. Was. Um, yeah, they're they're not relevant at all. Um, so for the shuriken, let's get rid of, oh, don't need an archery potion, or this hell banner, or this. So let's sell all of this, because we just don't need it. Um, I'm not going to need that lead. All that copper. I think that's going to do. I think that'll do. We don't need these recall potions, because we already have a magic mirror. Um, so we'll sell them, and we'll come over here, and we'll craft our obsidian skin potion. Now, we're only going to have two. 
Um, but I believe two is enough for what we want to achieve. Like, I'm pretty sure it's enough. Um, but that's going to be a really, really dedicated farming session there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back. We're going to go to hell again. And we're going to do some farming. And hopefully we get a traveling merchant in that time. Because it doesn't seem like we're going to get one right now at least. But yeah, so it's all about them numbers. Okay, so I'm back in hell again, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to farm for some enemies, but I'm also going to be doing some mining. I'm probably going to do the mining and then the farming. Um, I'm not going to show the mining because uh, there was a comment in last week's episode just saying, can you speed things up again? And like, usually I don't just go off one comment. Like Usually I look for like trends in the search results. However, um, I feel like I actually agree with this one. I want to, I want to speed things up a little bit. So... What I'm going to be doing is trying to cut uh, that down a little bit, but I want to show the cool stuff. Like, I want to show, like, that I actually do grind and stuff like that. You know, not when I'm busting those moves in the club, and I want to be showing that off, because, you know, people might get jealous uh, of my of my moves. Um, but I want to show that, like, this stuff is, like, all legit and stuff. So that's what I mean by not hypercutting some stuff. But yeah, okay, so I'm going to do some mining and some farming, and we'll see what we get. Uh, if a traveling merchant comes, hopefully we'll get some results from that. Okay, so I've done one obsidian skin potion, and a traveling merchant appeared, so I thought I'd come and get this on camera. No die, which is a real shame, because we really do need the die before I'm even going to attempt the wall of flesh. Uh, it's really disappointing that, but however, we do have some new stuff to actually craft, so how about we get crafting that? Because uh, this is going to tell us how much uh, hellstone that we actually need. By the way, there was a wizard hat in there. Yes, I found a wizard hat. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is with 120 hellstone. Uh, how much are we going to be able to make? Uh, I'm thinking like 30 bars. 45. Okay, so 45. And so what's that going to get me? Ooh, that's 20. That's 10. So that would already be... Mm. Alright, let me try this. One. Two. Yeah, a little bit, little bit more. So we're gonna need another, another round of hellstone. But there you go. So no die. Um, hopefully we do find it soon because it sucks that we don't have one. And I could never find a skeleton merchant. It's really disappointing. Okay, so I finished up the hellstone armor set, and I guess we're pretty much good to go for that. I also did a lot of exploring. I actually, because like we'd covered this area here, I did all of this area and a little part of this, all to look for the skeleton merchant. I had a hunter's potion on at the time. And I still can't find a skeleton merchant. I just think, like, I don't know. I just think we're in a, maybe like a wrong area. And I think it's just going to be one of the ones that I have to farm for on my own. But I also farmed in hell for an hour. And I still haven't found the yo-yo. But I've come back and, ah, uh, no. There's no, um, ooh, there's no yo-yo here. So it looks like we're going to have a yo-yo-less episode, which is really sad. I try and make sure there's a yo-yo in every single episode. It's really good. In. However... It also means that in next episode, I'll have a little bit of more free time to actually farm for the stuff. Um, these episodes take so long to make because farming is just so bad on this game sometimes. But it's cool. I like uh, I like Drari. I love Drari. You guys know that. Um, so that's what we've done today. We've got a complete Hellstone set, which is really good because that's obviously going to give us massive melee damage. Um, and we also have an upgrade for our yo-yo because we've got a magma stone. And it's obviously giving a nice fire debuff if you see that. Oh uh, yeah, so it's basically made it like the yo-yo that we're going for, but I think I'm just going to have to wait in the game a little bit longer for a code 1, and I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer for the um, for the one that we're farming for in hell, but hey, what can you do? I've got to rely completely on uh, the traveling merchant, so this is going to take some time because I need to make sure that every you know what I mean? I need to make sure I'm in game so that he can keep coming back and going out again. Because it obviously all depends on his... Is that a strength plan? Blueberries? Obviously all depends on what, you know, he's got for us. So, thank you all for watching. My name is James. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Like I said, they take so long to make. Um, only because, literally for farming. Oh, there was one more thing I wanted to check before. I found this, a lava charm. If I remember correctly, yeah, you can make obsidian walking water boots. So let's do that now. Let's uh, let's get a little bit of extra crafting done today, because then we can feel pretty good about ourselves. So, where is the obsidian skull? That's a question. You make it... Where do you make it? Is it a furnace? Or is it a crafting bench? The obsidian skull. We have 43 pieces of obsidian, so we should be able to craft it straight away. Let's have a look up here. Let's not get confused with anything. Hello, sir. Oh, do you have to craft it here? 
Is that a thing? No? Okay. Okay, hello, sir. Can you tell us all about the Obsidian Skull? Um, Obsidian Outlaw hat. Oh, this is obviously new. I've never seen this stuff. Uh, yeah, you crafted a furnace. Maybe I'm just not seeing things correctly. Okay, so let's go to a... Oh, I know what it is. That's not a furnace, right? Yeah, it's my fireplace. I've made that mistake before. Uh, that mistake before. Okay, so let's go to our little... Um, here, our Tinkerer's Workshop. Let's craft these together. Let's craft these together. And then, is there anything that we can do with brisk lava waders? Because that would mean that we'd be able to navigate in hell a little bit easier. Let's have a look. Oh, does this mean that it's not a material for anything? Or it's just not working? Yeah, so yeah, it's it's not a material for anything. But that's going to be good for hell. So, thank you all for watching. My name is James, and this is a really long outro. So, peace.